MMA.com. Steve Domenico from Domenico 101 MMA, and here we are at the Social Barber Shop here in Cranston, Rhode Island, where Marquise Brewster, CES MMA, undefeated professional fighter, 3 0, fighting March 31st for CES MMA at Twin Rivers Casino. He's back, people. He's been away a little while. He's got a lot to talk about. We're here at his place of business where he is a barber. All right, Marquise, how are you, buddy? How are you today? I'm doing all right, man. Just doing what I do every day, pretty much, besides training. Let's uh, talk about how you, you know, you started in this uh, your business here because you are an MMA fighter, and you are. This is your uh, your main job right here after training. So let's talk a little bit about how you got your start here, making people beautiful. Yeah, man. Well, I started when I was in when I was in high school. Just messing people up, really. You know what I'm saying? But, um, um, I eventually got good at it. Put the clippers down for a little while. Picked them up again back in 2008. And I've just been, I've just been cutting the hair ever since. You know, I love doing it, man. I, I enjoy seeing people look good after they get out of this chair. So, so this what motivates me, you know? Just people are happy at the finished product, you know? Awesome. And the barbershop is the call is called the social and you are very social so and uh, a lot of people don't know that you are a barber. Sir, what's your name? Because you are being cut by a, an MMA professional fighter. Mike King. Uh, did you know Mar Marquise does fight? Uh, not to a set down. Awesome. So uh, this is a new one for you too. So you're actually getting your hair cut by an MMA fighter. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope he does a great job because we're going to get a before and after shot of you, my friend. Okay, we're done. How are you feeling, my friend? Excellent. Awesome. Feel like a new man? Well, sort of. <laughs> feel a lot younger. <laughs> oh, that's good. You look a lot younger. You look great. You're happy. Well, we're the gray. And now you're going to feel the New England cold when you walk out there, but it'll feel great on that skin. Uh, oh, awesome. Uh, March 31st, you gonna be there maybe? Where is it? It's Twin Rivers Casino, my friend, right down the street, basically. I've never been there, maybe I will. Let's go, there we go, we got a new MMA fan there, right? Good luck, <laughs> Another satisfied cu customer from Marquise at the Social Barbershop. Oh, nice, so we're gonna interview him now about the fight coming up. Okay, now we're sitting down with Marquise and we're gonna talk about real business, his fighting business. We just seen him do his, uh, you know, nine to five job, mm -hmm. seven days a week probably. Yeah, man. And uh, now we're gonna talk about what he wants to do for the rest of his life yeah. as a career, and that's fighting a professional MMA. That's so, right. how you feeling, buddy? You got a fight coming in a couple of weeks? Yeah, man, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling real good. Um, everything's starting to, um, to, to line up perfectly, you know what I mean? So, uh, feeling real good. Healthy, healthy, weights down, so. Nice. No, now it's time to execute. That's it. Excellent. So you're uh, three and zero in your last feet, three fights, two and zero as a professional, coming off a great win. You haven't fought in about six months. You had a lot of stuff going on outside the cage. Got it all, you know, figured out. And now you know, mind your mind is on fighting. Everything's kind of straight. So you're three and zero, two and zero. You're coming off that fight about six months ago where you. You, know, you had a dominant performance, uh, come away with a second round uh, arm triangle choke. So let's talk about that and how we've been training to get to this fight. Yeah, that, um, that last fight, that, that was a short notice change up too because uh, I was supposed to fight a kid from, uh, from New York, Tim Wheeler. He backed out last minute and then uh, Roosevelt Archie, he stepped up and um, you know, he took the fight on short notice. So, um, you know, the game plan was the same, man. Even though he was a lot taller than the original opponent, it was to really just 
work my striking, take the fight to the ground, and end with the submission. And that's what happened. Yeah, and that kid had a lot of, like, tall, 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 tall. And you took him down, and you would figure the kid, like, you know, with the, the length size of his legs and stuff, but you, you, you basically dominated him on the ground. Right. And you almost finished him in the first round. Right. Second round, you just, you started off where you took off from the first round. Yeah. And, you know, the kid wanted to go back on the ground, so you took him there, and then you, you know, you already had him, you already had him, and you just, you know, you got the, sunk that choke in. Yeah, yeah, you put him out, you celebrated. That's it. You turned 2-0 and as a pro. That's it. That's now you took some time off. Right, right, right. We got a fight coming in two and a half weeks, or two weeks. Two weeks. And now you're fighting a guy coming in from Pennsylvania, right. making his pro debut, yep. coming into, I don't want to say hostile territory, but it will be it once, you, well, once you hit that cage it's floor, hostile. it's going to be. So let's talk a little bit about this guy coming in to try to make a name for himself. Yeah, uh, I got much respect to him. Cody Hyer, he's, uh, he's, coming, uh, he's coming from Pennsylvania. He's, um, he's making his pro debut. Uh, he was uh, two and three as an amateur on the circuit. Um, and, uh, you know, he's looking to make a name for himself, like you said. So, um, sorry to let you know. I mean, it's not going to happen over this <laughs> way. But, I mean, good, good try, good luck. I will, you know, wish you the best. You know, but um, it's going to be a good night. It's going to be fun. So, uh, can't wait. Awesome. And we have a lot of try for us. Uh, buddies, training partners, fighting on that. New England combat, you also cross-train with them guys. You have uh, Louis uh, Felix coming in. He hasn't fought in over a year. Uh, and this is not, his His isn't a title fight. It's a uh, three-round three round, three round fight. It's nice to him to come in and, and you know, get that cage time, get back on, you know, on track. So you got a, a bunch of fighters coming in. And you, and you know, I was at your gym. We have footage of that also right, right, at right. Triforce so where you were, you were, Sparring with everyone yeah, in that yeah, building, you were running around. When, when, and we obviously seeing Pete Jeffries. Anytime someone needs a pot up, my yeah. easy jumping right in there. All right, yeah. I'm jumping there. That's it, man. That's that's what that's what we do at Triforce MMA, man. man. Uh, we go hard. Wednesday, Wednesday nights, some of the best sparring in New England and happens at our gym. You know, all the studs, the guys come from many different gyms to come down and get work with us. So, um, you know, Triforce MMA is definitely uh, made a name for uh, ourselves as far as you know that's concerned um this happened way before i joined the gym you know i was hearing about that gym as far as like just nothing but monsters going in and sparring on wednesday nights mm -hmm. so you know the legacy continues um but you know from our stable we got cody norby um he's fighting on the 31st you got uh gary Belletto jr who's also fighting and a uh, really good friend um Longtime friend Joe Pingatori, he's also fighting uh, as well on the 31st. So, um, you know, like I said, I've been saying it, man. Triforce versus everybody right now. Um, you know, but uh, shout out to all the gyms we, we cross train with. Nothing against you guys, you know what I mean. You know, anybody coming out of state trying to test the waters over here, you know, you come to the ocean state, man. Don't get seasick, man. Don't drown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, that's usually what happens. But, um, but yeah, man, I can't wait. That's 31st, man. Turn River Casino. That's what we do. Excellent. Now, you had you had six months off. What have you been... I mean, you're always training. What have you been focusing on? Get You know, trying to get everything better, I would imagine. But what have you really been focusing on in the six months preparing to make your, you know, your, your comeback? I mean, uh, I'll be honest with you. I took a lot of time off, um, you know, healing injuries and, you know, dealing with some personal issues that I uh, was going through. And um, you know, it's what I needed because like my body was beat, my mind was beat. I just needed that time. Mm -hmm. And now I feel I feel great uh, mentally, physically. I'm feeling great. You know, um, you really can't. You, you know, you try to learn as much as you can in a camp, but you you know you just want to stick to you know what what works right right now. You want to learn everything on the off time. You know what I mean? So. Um, Right now, I'm just gonna focus Everybody's more on some stand-up this fight. My coach, uh, Victor Fagner, my boxing coach at Serious Boxing, he um, he puts a lot of time in and work with us, and he gets mad when I don't display my hands as much. He's like, man, I show you all this stuff, and you take the fight to the ground. This point is really, a boxing yeah, coach. Really, 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 really. <laughs> no, I just I I, I want to uh, you know display a little more of my hands for this fight, you know. And um, like I said, I'm fighting a wrestler, so um, you know I, I've seen a couple of fights that he's fought, and you know he goes for a takedown right off a of rip. I mean he doesn't really throw his hands around. Maybe that's changed, um, but we'll see. I know you know my hands are well. Um, my, my wrestling defense is good. I'm a wrestler as well, so um, it's going to be a good night. Excellent. And you got to stick to your game plan. This this kid tries to take you down. I mean, 
you got to go down there and you know smother him there. So Absolutely. wherever he's going to bring you or wants to, you know, challenge you, you're going to be ready for him because you are fighting and training with the best fighters in New England Absolutely. all the time, Absolutely. all the time. And you're fighting bantamweight, right? Uh, 135. Yeah. All your training partners are basically covering every weight class, Absolutely. pro weight class in New England. And you know, some gyms that you cross train to have some titles, but you guys are dominating just about every weight class. Right. And New England's a, a force to be reckoned with. And we've Absolutely. been talking about this, that you know, you up and coming professionals, man, we're jumping on your coattails because you're gonna take New England, you know, far and you know, out into the, the rest of the country, which we already are, because we have, you know, Kevin, uh, uh, we have Spice Lee, we have, you know. Got Rob Font. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have all these great fighters coming out of New England, but no one knows where they come, New England. Right. Now they know where New England is. Absolutely. New England, you know, you got Mark Delagrati in, in Boston, you got all them, you know, Lee Gresh in, uh, over there in the Cape area. Absolutely. We're covering every Everywhere. area of New England. Right. So, all right, so we have this fight coming on the 31st. Anything, last word you want to say to your opponent because he's coming in, give him a little warning about what he's going to be feeling coming in here or what? <laughs> I like to remain humble all the time, man, but all I'm saying is it's going to be a quiet, long ride back to PA for that, man. That's all I got to say. Awesome. That's, that's it, man. Shout out to my team, Triforce MMA, New England Combat, Serious Boxing. Um, you know, you guys are always in my corner. I appreciate you all, man, all my coaches, all my training partners. You know, it's time to uh, it's time to do what we do, man. Let's fly this flag the right way, you know? Excellent. March Social media? First. Social media? Oh, yeah, man. You can catch me on Facebook, Marquise Brewster. Uh, Instagram, Keith the Great. Uh, Snapchat is uh, Kings um, slash Keith, Q-U-I-S. Um, yeah, and that's about and that's about it. And then also, come check me out here in Cranston uh, at the Social Barbershop, 1719 Cranston Street. I'm here usually on uh, Tuesday through Saturday. You know, um, doing what I do best. So, um, hope to see everybody March thirty first, man. Awesome. Uh, don't come on that weekend because he'll be uh, he'll be at his other job, yeah. getting a third win. <laughs> 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 All right, from Dominico one hundred one MMA, we're at the Social Barbershop with Marquis Brewster, two and zero MMA professional, fighting at CES MMA on the thirty first of this month, March. Twin Rivers Casino, baby, the home of CES MMA. That's right, baby. Uh, bring it to New England, people, because. Uh, you know, we want you here. We want, you know, we're gonna make you famous, send you back home. All right, uh, from Social Barbershop, one last thing, we want to introduce the boys in the band here. Everyone want to say hello, shout yeah. out. Sean. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. You know, not only does Marquise have a support, you know, a support group outside of this, you know, in training, he has it at his job yeah, too, yeah. so. Uh, from Social Barbershop, thanks fellas for letting me in. Yeah, man, I, definitely with the social crew, <laughs> man, because. Uh, every day I'm here with these dudes, man. They hear it all. They see it all, man. From from the from the weight cut to the to, to me eating poorly and eating everything, and you know they, these guys grind with me every day. So, man, definitely major shout out to these brothers over here with yeah, me, yeah. man. They, they they got my back all the time, man. So excellent. And you know, one of them lost a bunch of weight because of you because you talk all about this shit. So <laughs> where are you? This guy, show the abs. Where are you, are you on there? Show that abs. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. We had said enough. All right, see you later, folks. See you on the 31st.